Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. What not a better way to start with a new video by updating you on the items that I've recently added into my wardrobe. But before I show you everything that I've added, I just want to introduce myself to you. I am Mariana and on this channel i like to share with you my fashion adventures so the hits and miss and mainly share with you my love for parisian and french fashion with a little bit of spiciness and bohemian because those are things that i love so without further ado let's start with the first item shall we so this first item has been sold out on Cezanne's webpage for quite a long time. I'm talking about the Martin crop trousers on this Vichy brown acro pattern, uh, but Cezanne just restocked it recently and they also released a jacket, a cropped jacket with this same print, but also the trousers on a black and acro color. Although I think I prefer this one. Uh, Size-wise, I went one size up. Honestly, size 40 with such a thick fabric it wasn't the most comfortable for me. So I sized up, although it does fit oversized. So if you like a more regular to tight fit, yeah, stick with your regular size, but may not be comfortable to you because there is no stretchness to this fabric at all. I didn't mind oversized fitting because I would be wearing this a lot during fall and winter and ultimately I like to wear something underneath, especially like a heat tech leggings and something like that. So this would be perfect for all year around. Summer shorts. I know we are in the midst of summer, but I was looking for uh, shorts to add into my collection because I didn't really had any that um, yeah I really liked anymore. So I decided to order the Rome shorts and I think it was a wise decision. The fabric is sticky enough to also uh, wear this during fall and spring when the weather is still a bit chilly but it's such a good quality piece well made structured and what i also liked is that you can wear this without the belt depending on the top i think the bucky belt um, doesn't really fit so i really liked the shorts and i've been wearing this non-stop and I will probably keep wearing them for many, many summers and years to come. But if you were still looking for a nice summer shorts to add into your collection, I highly recommend the ROM shorts. They also have it in different colors if you are not really into black. Sticking with Cezanne buttons, I was quite happy uh, with the archives and I ordered the Tabata skirt on this pretty, pretty Gallia uh, Ecru print. Uh, so I saw this pattern when it came out and somehow I let it sleep and I didn't order anything. And when I saw this in the archives, I was like, I have to get it. So um, it's the same thing again uh, with Sesame buttons. Um, this one I sized up, um, skirts usually and buttons that are like high-waisted, I usually have to size up on Cezanne, so size 42 uh, the skirt, but actually I think I forgot to mention the Rome short size, I uh, stick with my regular size for those, so Rome shorts I got a size 40. Uh, Martin crop, um, Vichy brown acro, uh, I ordered 42, Tabata skirt 42 as well. Um, you will see that I went far and beyond with this print. I was in between ordering the dress, but then again, I thought that the skirt would give me more versatility. And the blouse, I think uh, it's the um, Abelia blouse, was sold out immediately, but I was lucky enough to uh, find it secondhand on Vinted. So I also got the uh, Abelia blouse. 
um, again, it was like new without the tags for half the price on vintage. So that's usually my uh, advice to you. If anything that you really want on Cezanne first before buying full price, check second hand because there is usually there are usually quite a lot of options and pieces and people reselling season stuff uh, so i was very uh, happy to have scored this one and i think it will be my version of the dress still i can wear the two pieces separately if i wasn't already obsessed enough with this print i went far and beyond and i ordered the low gabrielle boots uh, that um, the model is wearing uh, in the lookbook with the Tabata skirt. I don't have anything like this uh, in my wardrobe, although I was a bit hesitant in terms of the sweat because I live in the Netherlands and it rains a lot here. But I will use, uh, you know, protection um, sprays and yeah. I mean, I just have to see how it goes. Let me know in the comments below if you have these boots and how they uh, have uh, hold up um, during the years. Um, I just simply love it. And they are super comfortable. So I ordered my regular size European 39. They are also quite comfortable here on the cuffs in case um, this is a um, constraint for you. So yeah, overall I'm very happy with it. I think I will not return it because I could still return it. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? But I think it's a nice addition. As I said, I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. I can wear it with denim shorts. I can wear it with like spring, summer outfits, but also I can totally see myself wearing this uh, in a like full black outfit. Uh, just with these boots as a pop of color, I think. But moving on, but sticking with the footwear category, uh, I I was recently in Japan and I had to get a uh, Onitsuka Tiger for myself. Uh, if you don't know, um, Onitsuka Tiger is a Japanese brand. Uh, not all sneakers, but... Um, once you order them in Japan, you can check if they were made 100% in Japan, which is the case for this one. Um, this is the Mexico uh, 66 uh, model. I got on my regular size, so European 39. And I really like because I'm very minimal when it comes to sneakers. So I have pretty much white sneakers. And this is a white sneaker if you look, you know, from the front. Uh, but it has a pop of color on the back, so this pretty nice blue shade, but also this burgundy-ish purple color. So I think it's still quite basic, but this will add some interest into my outfit. And it's so, so comfortable. So I really loved this purchase. And if you are looking into um, and they sell pretty much worldwide so you can also get your hands uh, in one if you want and don't forget i will link all those items in the description below for you so now i just wanted to touch on very quickly um on a category that i must say i am not most knowledgeable i'm not a makeup expert but i was just browsing um and i stumbled across charlotte's one of charlotte's pop-up uh pop-ups and i decided to try some makeup on because i've never uh have tried it before and i don't really like to buy makeup online if i haven't tested uh in real life um i have genetic dark circles and i was advised to get this um peach cream to use underneath my concealer because this actually tones down um, the dark circles this purplish color that we usually have and i must say this works pretty well so i'm very happy with it this will last me like forever you just use this tiny tiny bit uh, just like with my fingers underneath um, uh, um, the concealer 
So I also got the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. Um, I love, love concealers. If I would have to choose just one makeup, makeup item to wear forever, this will be it. Uh, not necessarily just this brand, but you know, concealers. Um, I really like this one. It has good coverage because I do need coverage, but it's not as anything excessive. And yeah, I think the skin tone matches mine quite well. Um, it doesn't really crease uh, on my wrinkles or on the fine lines. So yeah, I mean, if you use this, if you need good coverage and then you seal it well with proper powder, you are good to go. This is a pretty good concealer and I've tested many, many, many uh, during my life. Uh, and I also got the Beautiful Skin Foundation. Um, I would say uh, I'm not a foundation person. I'm usually concealer and mascara and blush and I'm fine. Uh, but since I started this YouTube channel, I just wanted to have a little bit of uh, like glow into my skin um, to look good on camera for you. And then I was advised to get this one because I, as I said, I, since I don't normally wear foundation and to be honest, I don't really like to feel that I'm, that I have anything on my skin. So I think this does the job pretty well. I don't feel heavy. I don't feel like I have anything on, but it has good coverage. Uh, I would say a light to medium covered. So yeah, I am very happy with it and I would definitely order it again. Um, since we are in summer, I think it's important to touch on sunscreen, right? So always, always wear your sunscreen, girls. Um, and I got in Japan this, this is sort of like a um, foundation, uh, like a cream foundation but this is in fact uh, uh, FPS. So it's FPS 50 uh, from Shiseido. And this is mainly uh, targets to active wear. Like when you go out for a run that you know that you will sweat a lot sometimes, depending on the um, uh, FPS that you use, if it's not water resistant, you know, you may lose your protection. And this one is pretty good for active wear, as I said, but I found it actually also very um, easy to retouch once you were out and you know that you'll be under the sun for hours. I mean, I'm not talking about going to the beach, but more like uh, spending the day on the city during summer. And I think this is pretty easy to retouch. Um, feels very nice on the skin, again, very light. Uh, you don't really feel like you were wearing anything. And I would definitely repurchase it again once this one finishes. Uh, but I mean, I got mine in Japan, but you can definitely get this uh, anywhere. Um, so moving on to the last item I've added recently. Um, I lost my prescription glasses on my flight on my way back home from Japan and I needed new ones because I cannot leave without my prescription glasses. So I was looking for a new one and I really liked this uh, Dior ones. Um, they are quite minimal frame. Uh, my the one I lost uh, was like a, a like a round uh, frame. So I decided to get a rectangular shape this time, just to get some variation. And I really like that this one. Uh, it's quite minimal. You just have some like CD here on the you know on the sides, and that's it. So you cannot really tell the brand or anything. Uh, they are of great quality, I would say. I also got transition lenses, so um, when I'm under the sun, they turn like dark brown. So I think it adds a little bit of edginess, like if I'm just running around uh, in the city. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with them. They were not cheap, I must say, but you know, I can still uh, keep the frame and just update my lenses um, if I need a new prescription. So I'm very happy with uh, Christian Dior. I tried many other brands like Celine, Chanel, like Low Wave, but honestly, they were just 
too much for my taste so I really I'm really happy with it um, so that's it for me my friends I hope that you found this video a bit informative for you in terms of like sizing fitting of the pieces that I've added into my collection and I will be very very happy if you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because this helps me a lot to uh, keep uh, uh, making videos for you and uh, let me know in the comments below which pieces or piece you liked the most any suggestions or things that you think I can do to help me protect the uh, Gabriella boots but also I will be in Paris next week so if you have any shopping recommendations apart from like Cezanne because this is a must go but also restaurants or anything that you would uh, like to recommend please write in the comments below because I will be very happy with those as well so uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you on uh, a next one bye bye yeah.